Welcome to our course planning assemblies for all grade eights moving into grade nine. I'd like to acknowledge the lands on which we work on, we play and we learn on are the shared traditional territory of the Katsi, Kwantlen, Samiamu and other Coast Salish peoples. So here's our timeline. Course requests will be happening in the computer labs next week from February 15th to the 18th during Block C. Your Block C teacher will tell you what day that will be and also will help you come up to the labs. So please have your course planning sheets filled out before you come to the lab. Um, that way you know what you want to pick as your eight courses and possibly nine. Some of you might be taking jazz band. That would be a ninth class. Um, have that form filled out, which hopefully you're going to fill out with me in the next few slides anyways, so you will be ready. So bring the sheet with you when you come to the labs. So please make sure your course planning sheet is the appropriate one. Are you in the English program or are you in the French program? And this is what your course planning sheet should look like. You need to fill in the top with your name, your my ed number, your pupil number, your student email, because we want to make sure the information goes to you. And if you have a homeroom and you know who your homeroom is, please fill that in, but don't stress out if you don't know that one. All right, you'll notice that the English class, because it's required, we've already checked that off for you. So everybody here is going to be getting English 9. Then it moves into math, and notice this is the English program. So for the English students, these are your choices for math. You can take regular math. You might have been recommended for 9W. You might have actually gone ahead and done accelerated, and if you were in that class this year, then you can choose Math 10. And for those who feel they need a little bit of a challenge, you can also take Math 10 Honors. Okay, so that's it for math. Then you'll notice for Science, Science 9 is already checked off. Everybody here has to take Science 9. Social Studies 9, same thing, also checked off. And finally, we get to PE. You have a choice here. You can be in regular PE, which is PHE 9. If you are thinking of doing the Hockey Academy, um, you get to check that box off. But notice it takes up two spots. So it's your PE, eight, PE 9 plus your one elective, because it's two blocks. Or you have the option of doing PE with band. And again, that box will check off two as well when you're doing your course selections. So it's PE 9 with band, because they alternate. Right. As we move down the sheet, you'll notice it says ADST course. You need to choose one of these. This is your elective, and you have to choose a certain type of course that satisfies the ADST credit. All right, after you've chosen that one, you'll be at the next section, which asks you to choose another two, and the options for this are on the back side of your course selection sheet. You only choose these if you are not taking Hockey Academy or Band. So if you have chosen Hockey or Band, you only pick one. But if you are not choosing those two, you need to choose two from the back of the sheet. Okay. Um, moving on to the last bit here, which I referred to at the beginning, saying possibility of having a ninth class. If you are taking Band, you have an option to choose Jazz Band, which is outside the regular school hours, and it's considered a ninth class. So if you are interested in taking jazz band, you need to be in the regular band, and this could be an extra course you can take. Um, the next part here talks about alternates. Very important that you give us three other choices, um, just in case we don't have the class available. Your class you wanted, say for example, foods, and all the seats are filled, then we need to know what else to put you into. If you do not give us three alternates, and by the way, we want to make sure these alternates are not from the ones above. You have, you're not repicking the same ones. So if there's not a seat in photography, putting it down as an alternate is not going to give you photography. So you need to make sure you choose three other courses as alternates. Um, once we can't find something, we will go to your alternates, and the computer will put you into one of those classes. Uh, last bit here, all students are expected to take a full course load, so eight courses, and again, nine if you're taking jazz band. If you're planning to take a course online or at summer school, please make sure you choose eight courses here so that we fill up your classes, and then afterwards, you come see your counselor once you have registered for summer school, and then we will remove the course that doesn't need to be there. 
Um, and Or if we can't get a hold of you, this is why the alternates are really important. If we can't get a hold of you and we notice, hey, you're taking a class in summer or online, we will remove that class and stick one of your alternates into there. Uh, there is another course that we don't usually talk about as a class on your timetable. It just happens to appear. It's all grade 9 students will also complete Careers 9 as a non-enrolling. So it's not on your schedule as a class. Um, and it, it's something we just talked to you guys about and is done through my blueprint. So more information to come about that. Now this is the French immersion version of the course selection sheet. So very similar to the English, except you'll notice the courses listed on here are in French. So again, English 9 has been checked off because everybody has to take that. Um, there are three core FRIM classes everyone has to take. So again, we've checked them off. That's your FRAL, your socials, and your science. Math, again, there's a bit of a choice. So if you're taking regular math, you can take mathematics. If you did the accelerated this year, you can also take the next level up. So you would take Mathematics 10. And again, for those who really want to challenge themselves, there's the honors class. So choose one of those. Um, PE, same as the English program I was speaking about. So you take regular PE, or you have the option of taking hockey or band. Um, so you check off the one that you would like there. And again, if you're taking the hockey, it takes up two. If you're taking the band, again, it takes up two. And then the bottom, just like the English sheet, ADST, you have to choose one because it's a requirement. So you'll notice here it says other course, elective course. So you do need to choose one unless, again, if you've picked hockey or band, you do not fill in this one line. It's just for the students who are not taking hockey and band. And again, as I said, for the English program, French immersion are also welcome to take band and also take jazz band. So this would be considered your ninth class. Again, it's off the timetable, so it's done out of regular school hours. Um, again, as I said, for the English program, please, please give us three alternates that you have not already chosen. Um, like I keep saying, if, you've, if a class you've chosen, for example, photography is full and you put it down as an alternate, if you didn't get it the first time, you, it's full. You're not going to get it as an alternate. So we need you to please put three separate alternates. Um, you will have a course, full course load. And as uh, just like the English program, you guys will also be taking Careers 9 as a non-enrolling. So that's off the timetable. And you will be doing it through your My Blueprint account. And there will be more information about that later. And finally, for everybody at the bottom, the course descriptions, just go to our website, our school website, Earl Marriott, go to up under About and click on Courses, and you will have the catalog that will explain what each class is in more detail. So this is just another way of looking at the same boxes we were looking at earlier, just comparing the two. So both English and French programs will have English 9. And here we have French immersion, already checking off the boxes for mathematics, the social studies, the science, and the Francais long. And here we've added math. If you're in the English program, you are to choose one. If you're in the French immersion, we assume, which we, I spoke about earlier, that you're taking mathematics nine, but if for some reason you have accelerated, Please contact us. We can change this, but it's just been set up so that it gives you Mathematics 9. And here on the English side, we've added in the English Social Studies and Science. Again, it should be already checked off on your box. And finally, we have PE on both English and French. You need to choose PE. It's mandatory unless, again, you've done the Hockey Academy or the Band. And over here we have ADST, which I also spoke about. You must choose one. It's a mandatory part of the curriculum. So everybody, whether you're in English or French, you need to choose ADST. And then finally, if you are in the English program, you should be choosing two more electives. And again, it could be another ADST. It doesn't have to be something totally different. You are allowed to take more than one. So 
please choose two electives if you were in the English program and if you were in the French immersion, you would choose one more. For students in the English program, we highly recommend taking a second language up to grade 11. In fact, we offer grade 12 level, so if any of you are thinking about taking a Bachelor of Arts, you might actually be required to take a language 12. Um, a lot of the universities in this local area do require a language 11 for direct entry, so for admissions, so it's something to keep in mind. Um, here at Earl Marriott, we offer French and we offer Spanish, but if there's other languages that you are interested in taking and you find them online or in summer school, you can take it because it doesn't matter. It's as long as it's in a, la a language up to grade 11. And another reason to take a language is just for your own general knowledge and good for traveling and having some cultural understanding. So we always highly recommend it. So ninth course option, Earl Marriott does offer Jazz Band 9. It's usually in the morning or after school, so it's off the timetable regular hours. Um, I, we just want to make a note here that if you are registering for Jazz Band 9, you must also be enrolled in Concert Band 9. So please check Concert Band on your sheet as well as Jazz Band. Okay, so I've mentioned alternates before. I'm mentioning it again. You are required to at least choose three alternates so that if we cannot get your main request, we can throw in your alternate. So again, I must really emphasize that these need to be different than the other electives you've already picked. Really, really, really important. Um, our, post, our, our school is running uh, clubs. We do have extracurricular clubs and teams. We have volunteering available in the community. We always offer leadership things. Um, we want you to be well-rounded so that when you are applying to post-secondary, you have this in your resume. And I know that because of COVID right now, it's a little bit of a struggle, but we can get things done. Um, just need to connect and we can try to help you with this. Um, please start early, develop your resume, get your reference letters started, um, any certificates you have, start a folder and start putting these things in. Can't say it enough, you need to be involved, especially if you're looking for scholarships in grade 12. There, it's too late when you start in grade 12, we need you to start early. All right, so when you are ready to come to the labs, you'll be called down um, on a specific date, your teacher will know this. Please, when you come down, make sure you have your email address, which I mentioned before, make sure it's your student email, um, one that you frequently check. And you'll notice it's right at the top of your planning sheet. So that's the email you should be using. Make sure you have a security question. Um, we gave the example of where were you born. It could be what's your birthday. Something that you can remember and don't have to go searching for, but something that's private enough that other people won't know the answer. Um, and then finally, that's part of your password. And then also know your student number. When you come to the lab, we hope that your sheet has already been done and that you've already had your discussion with your family. So they've had their chance to input and give their suggestions and all the rest of that. So when you're picking, you're actually ready to pick your courses. Uh, we've mentioned earlier as well that there's resources available. So you just need to go to the Earl Marriott website. And I've added the link here. Um, so about courses. And you should be able to find the course catalog. Scroll to the bottom of the page if you've forgotten your password or need the instructions. Passwords. So grade eights, you will not have your password yet. Uh, we will be giving you this temporary password when you come into the labs. So do not worry about this. You do not have this yet. Nothing to worry about. When you arrive in, into the lab, we will give you the password. Uh, once you've logged in using that password, we're actually going to ask you to change the password. So I'd like you to start thinking about what kind of a password you'd like to have that you can save or memorize or put somewhere safe that no one else will know where it is or what it is, and then you'll be able to use it. So start thinking about that password now. So here's our timeline for course planning month. Today, you're watching our virtual grade assemblies. That's all grades are watching their assembly. We have given you your course planning sheets. You should have received those today. You should be following along and you should be filling in your forms. Um, the week of February 3rd to the 18th is when the portal will be open. So all grade nines to 11 will be doing theirs at home. 
and you guys, the grade eights, will be doing them in the labs. So your classroom teacher, block C classroom teacher, will tell you what day you're going up into the labs. So that's going to be from the 15th to the 18th, so just a couple of days. So have your sheets ready and, and done and filled out, and all you have to do is come up, we give you your password, and you will fill it in. If you have any questions, please email your counselor. Uh, we're here to help. Uh, you have any questions about, should I take this class, or I'm not sure about this class, this is the person you need to go see. So please email your counselor with your questions. So if you do go to the Earl Marriott website to look for the course catalog, when you log in on that previous slide I was showing you how to get to this, if you click into the website and this is what will show up under the course catalog, you can click on that and it gives you all of the courses available for next year that are being offered and a little description of what each one's about. Um, the next box under the second arrow here um, gives you the course planning guide. It also uh, we've added in the graduation program for each of the grades. Again, I know you're only going into grade nine, so this doesn't really apply yet, but it will. So if you're curious or you're one of those that like to think ahead, um, you might want to click on that grade 10 graduation program. And then at the bottom, you'll see it says start here. So that's what you need to click to get started. And you will, the next screen will show you the actual planning worksheets, which you should now actually have a copy of because your teacher should be giving you a copy. And you would click on the grade eight to nine course planning sheet. Um, and before I leave this, I just want to make sure you notice at the top that first arrow. Uh, earlier in one of the slides, I was just telling you how you can click on a somewhere where you can get your password. This is the spot. So if I have forgotten my password, this is the box I need to click to get to another space where I can actually find my password or have it re-emailed or make a new one. The bottom, last arrow here, virtual assemblies, links will be available as of February 3rd. So that's more if you've already come into this slide prior. So if you're Googling it, if you're doing this from home, you need to log in onto my ed, hit the login, type in your student number and the password, which is why you needed to have this ahead of time. You, you can be doing this with us in the lab as well. So if you're doing this from home or in the lab, this is the same instructions. Go to my info at the top, click on it. Go to assessments. And you'll notice this one, this particular page is for grade 10s, but yours will say you're going into grade nine. And it says here, go ahead and select. So you would hit select. And you'll notice here, there's already some in, in, in the blue. They have science already put in, they have social studies already put in, and they have careers already put in. So for you guys, as I've said before, when we're doing the course planning sheets, anything that's already checked off, for example, your English nine, um, you are going to be doing, everybody in this group is doing science nine and socials nine, that will show up here on your screen. What you really will be picking is which math do you want and then which PE do you want and start adding your electives. So at this point, you're going to be hitting select. So you scroll and there's a lot of arrows here. So make sure you notice the arrow pointing downward. You know, the list can go up or down and the arrow pointing t facing pointing to the left is your arrow going up and down on your so between those two you can go up and down these lists we just want to make sure what you see on the first screen is not the only list of classes we want to make sure you understand you can go forward and back on this list and once you've figured out or find the class you want for example if you wanted drama nine it's here on this screen you would go and you would click the box on the left hand side once you've clicked it it will show up you hit select you punch it in this is where it will show up and now after doing all the select, 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 you should have eight classes listed here. Um, if you have any questions, this is, it says notes to counselor. This is where we need you to type in your question. Um, and we have questions all the time and that's not a problem. We do see them. So please don't hesitate. We would love to hear back from you. If there's something missing or something was done incorrectly, we wanna fix these early. So please, write in your comments to the counselor and the alpha counselor will get that message. So if you have any further questions, 
Um, like I said, you can always contact us, but please check out our website. So our planning guide is on there. Our course selection guide is there. Our entire timeline of how we're doing this is on there. There are sample planning sheets. So even though you have received one, if you needed more, I did point them out earlier. You can click on them and you can get a sample one. Uh, this presentation should also be on the website as soon as we're done here. Um, there are student portal instructions in case you I went too fast or you still had questions and you're not sure or something glitches. There are instructions on the student portal web page. Uh, and of course, there's the website. So again, once again, at the bottom, we have put in the link so it's easier to find us. This final slide was just a reminder that all the information that was shared out in this PowerPoint today is just general information for all students in grade eight. We hope that if you have any questions that you will contact your alpha counselor. So all of you should know how to make an appointment. And just a reminder that lunchtime is drop in every day. So please take advantage of that. Are there any questions?